Welcome once again to Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard, and today I got a viewer question to answer for you. This one comes from Mart. He asks, I would love you to do a feature on time lapse imaging. We use GB time lapse software to control any Canon camera to make a time lapse movie for scientific purposes. The problem we have is how to then put those images into a movie that is compatible with PowerPoint without having to upload different codecs to the PC and that plays right in a high quality. We also want to put it in a universal format such as MP4 so we can play anywhere on any platform. Great question, Mart. Uh, in addition to the program that you mentioned, one that I like to use that's free uh, and works on the Mac is called Gawker. And it's at gawker.sourceforge.net and you go slash information.html to view the page I'm looking at right now. I'll have a link to this on my webpage. Basically, Gawker is an application for Mac OS X that creates time-lapsed movies using a webcam. You hook up your webcam, you set it up to how many seconds do you want it to take a picture, and you can say record throughout the day, say take one every 60 seconds. And so you get one image for every minute. And so over a period of a day, you can see the snowfall accumulation or the flower blooming, whatever it is you want to do. You hook it up to a webcam, you have to leave it connected, point it out the window, or it can be a kind of a security cam for you because it can record it and save it to your hard drive as a movie file, which works great. However, I think part of what Mart's talking about is <clears throat> sometimes this saves it as MOV and PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint for Windows <sighs> does not support standard video formats like MP4 and MOV. I I'm surprised PowerPoint stuck around as long as it has given that it really only likes WMV files in PowerPoint. You can use some other formats like AVI, but AVIs tend to be large file sized images. So when you want to compress something down, you do AVI, it's really difficult to do that. But AVI works in both Mac and Windows version of PowerPoint. But if you want to use something that's really ideal for Windows, you want to convert it to a WMV. That would make Microsoft PowerPoint for Windows very happy. On the Mac, it can take AVI, MP4, MOV. This video you're watching right now, you could actually put this uh, into the PowerPoint for Mac or Keynote, that would work as well. But Gawker, neat little program, and you can download it. It's free. You can click on the download and uh, doesn't cost you a bit. But when you need to convert, here's one that I recommend to convert to WMVs. Now I've mentioned other video converters, the Miro video converter, Real Player video converter. This one I want to point out to you because this one does convert to WMVs on Mac. Now there are other programs that you can use on Windows, but if you've already got a Windows computer, you can probably open it in Windows Media Player and then export it out. But in this case, um, go to Products, and there's Video Converter for Mac. And this converts with lots of different video formats, including MP4, AVI, WMV, MKV, lots of different ones. It can convert back and forth between them. It does cost you $35, so it does cost you a little bit, but hey, you know, it might be a valuable tool for you to be able to use if you do a lot of this sort of task to convert video files to WMVs. So, uh, hopefully that answers your question, Mart, and I encourage you to do your little time-lapse uh, pictures, post them on Facebook, post them up on uh, uh, YouTube, and share with other people. I saw some last winter where people did time-lapse of snow accumulations, so I thought that was pretty neat. I'm currently doing a time lapse of a building being built outside of where I work and over a period of a year it'll be kind of interesting to stitch all those different clips together, cut out the nighttime parts and see how it looks. Anyway, have questions? Send them to me at questions at askthetechies.com. Have fun!